Good morning, Bear Tooth Bears. Happy Wednesday to you. Every Wednesday is what we call our den days. It's the days when we all try to wear our team colors. I'm in a bindi, so this is my green suit. Um, some people that might be in red are gonna deck out all in red. If they're an Amistad, somebody maybe who's in the house of reverse is gonna deck out in all blue. You'll see other teachers in their purple for integrity. So we ask you and invite you to every Wednesday, join us in, in uh, wearing your house shirts or at least wearing something that has that color of your den on it to school. So kindergartners, you're gonna get your dens tomorrow. So we're super excited to celebrate you tomorrow and do that with you. So our three manners for today, our last three of our Bear 24. First one, be positive and enjoy life. There are so many things around us that we can focus on that are bad, that are negative, that make us maybe sad or frustrated or just get us down. So we choose to look at the positive and enjoy ourselves, especially when you're here at school. There's so many good things going on, but you've got to choose to find the positive. Because trust me, our brains are geared to like kind of protect ourselves, and so we look for the negative. It's a defense mechanism in our brains. So we've got to really think about trying to find the positive and looking for that. The next one is to understand that as a learner, you're going to make mistakes. We want you to make mistakes. Those mistakes are what helps us learn. So just know that as a learner, you're going to make mistakes, we gotta try to learn from that and move on. We don't sit there and just soak in the mistake and get all frustrated and sad. There's a time for that, and then you move on, right? So we wanna make sure that we learn from those mistakes and realize that learners, as we are, make mistakes. That's a part of learning, and it's so wonderful. So the last one, no matter the circumstances, be honest. This is a tough one, because it is hard sometimes to be honest. Now, I need to say this though, because some people say, well, I was just being honest. Honest doesn't mean you have to be hurtful. So for example, I would say, don't you love my green suit? Check this out, woo, it's so awesome. Somebody might think I look silly in this green suit. I don't want people to come up and say, that looks really silly. Or maybe they just don't like it and they might come up and say, I don't like that suit. Are you being honest? Yes. Do you need to be honest with that? No, you don't. So. You need to be honest when people ask you specific questions when being honest is important. Um, if somebody came up, if I was wearing this green suit and I came up to you and said, hey, don't you love this suit? Oh my gosh, it's my favorite, I love it. You could say, if you like it, that's all that matters. You don't have to say, no, I, I think it looks stupid. Or no, I, I don't think it looks good on you, Mr. Niemeyer. That green is not a good color for you. You're being honest, but it's also gonna be hurtful at the same time. So you gotta be careful when you do that. It's a really tricky one. And we say no matter the circumstances, be honest, there, there's, a, there's a balance to that a little bit too. So if your teacher says, did you do this on the playground? You know you're gonna get in trouble. You gotta be honest and tell the truth, right? If you broke something or did something and your parents are asking you that question, you know you gotta be honest and tell the truth. And is that gonna make you feel good? Not necessarily, because we always get that little yucky feeling in our tummies when we know we're in trouble, but we still have to be honest and tell the truth. That's the stuff we're talking about, right? Is owning our own mistakes and our actions to be honest and truthful about those. Because then again, we're learners and we can learn from those and we can move on. And that's what we're all about. So have a wonderful Wednesday today. I'll talk to you later.